Exodus chapter 15, verse 1. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Most High, while Moses got aside and spake, saying, I will sing unto the Most High, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea. No, Thrown. The horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea. That's right. Pharaoh and all his chariots. Mosai threw him into the sea. Read. Yahweh is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. He is my power, and I will prepare him a habitation, my father's power, and I will exalt him. That's right. You gotta exalt the most high. You have to exalt the most high. Exodus 15, chapter 10. Go ahead. Yahweh Mashkamsai is a man of war. Hear that? A man of war. Mosai is a man of war. Read. Yahweh is his name. Go ahead. Pharaoh's chariots and his host had he cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned in the Red Sea. That's right. He's singing this. It's a song, y'all. He's singing this song. Read. The depths have covered them. They sank into the bottom as a stone. Thy right hand, O Most High, is become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Most High, had dashed in pieces the enemy. That's right. You hear what he's saying? Read that again. Thy right hand, O Most High, is become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Most High, had dashed in pieces the enemy. So where are we going to see the right, who's on the right hand side of the Most High? Where are we going to find it at? It's in uh, Psalms chapter 10, verse 1. You said that when well, the last time I told you that was wrong. 110, verse 1. Kind, there it is. Let's read one of them. He said his right hand have dashed to pieces the enemy. You see how the spirit works? Psalm chapter 110, verse 1. Yahweh said unto my power, sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. So read it so you can understand that Mashiach Yahushai is the right hand. Yahweh said unto Hamashiach Yahushai. He said unto my power. My, my power. Hamashiach Yahushai. And Yahweh said unto my power, Hamashiach Yahushai. Sit thou at my right hand, till I make my enemies thy footstool. Until I make thy enemies thy footstool. So he says, sit on my right hand till he make his enemies his footstool. And that's where he's at. He's, 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 he's going to be there. Get uh, 1 Corinthians 15. 24. 1 Corinthians 15, 24. He's going to be there. That's why we say, Quam Abanawa Yahweh, Quam Mashiach Yahweh Shai. That's rise, most high. Rise, Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Then we're going to rise. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 24. Then cometh the end. Yeah, then cometh the end. Read. When he shall have delivered up the kingdom to the most high. That's right. When he's going to have delivered all the kingdoms. To the most high, read. Even the Father. Even the most high, the Father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to the twelve tribes of Israel, read. When he shall put when he shall have put down all rule and all authority. So that's clear. Anybody that don't, that's that love the rules of these kingdoms right now, you're gonna go down right with them. Because you're gonna do what? shall put down all rule and all authority and power. That's right. He's going to put down all rule and authority and power that's on this earth right now. See? 
for he must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet. That's right. He must reign until he put all the enemies of Mashiach Yahushai under his feet. Read. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. So the last thing that's going to be destroyed is death. Read. For he hath put all things under his feet. When the Most High hath put all things under his feet. Read. When he said, all things are put under him. When he says, all things are put under Mashiach Yahushai, that's the him, read. It is manifest that he is accepted, which did put all things under him. It's going to be manifest that he is accepted, that put all things under Mashiach Yahushai. The Most High is the one going to put all things under Mashiach Yahushai. Okay? Read. And when all things shall be subdued unto him. You hear that? It ain't, it ain't, it ain't going to be no voting. <laughs> Is everything going to be subdued to what Mashiach Yahweh was shot? He coming to take over. Right. He coming to reign forever and ever and ever. Read. Then shall the son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him. I mean, without even telling us. We know it's the most high. When every, all these kingdoms see the power of the most high, how are you going to put all these nations under Hamashiach Yahweh Shai? And 144,000. 12,000 from each of the tribes of Israel. When they see the power of the Most High, just like what you see when, when what we going over when Pharaoh woke up and his son was dead. Firstborn son was dead. And every, every firstborn beast, every firstborn, if you were the firstborn, you died. You the firstborn, you die. Yeah, yeah don't matter. You the firstborn, you die. Well, shit, if I you needed to live in them days. Woo. <laughs> I'm well, it was all right. I'd have been. I'd have loved to live in. It's been all right. Both sides. Both sides. Right. Both sides. As an Israelite, <laughs> just make sure you put that blood. <laughs> put that blood over your door. That was the main thing. As an Israelite, make sure you put that blood on the top and on the sides of your door. Go ahead. That the Most High may be all in all. This is all. what it's all about, brothers and sisters. This is all about the Most High being what? All, all in, in all. all. Most High being what? All, all in all. all. That's what this is all about. No more, no less. He gonna be all in all, giving all praise and glory to His holy name. Now let's look at uh, Acts, the second chapter. I want you to read verse thirty-two. So you understand? He said. So when we go back, you understand, because the scripture gives understanding by what's already written. We just got to know where to go to find it. Read. Acts chapter 2, verse 32. This Hamashiach Yahushai said, has, This Hamashiach Yahushai had most high raised up, whereof we all are witnesses. Therefore, being by the right hand of the most high exalted. Being, being where? By the right hand of the most high Exalted. So who's being by the right hand of the Most High exalted? Mashiach Yahweh Shah. There it is again. Go ahead. And having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Spirit, he had shed forth this, which ye now see and hear. That's right. Go ahead. For David has not ascended into the heavens. So David, King David, did ascend into the heavens. Read. But he said himself. But he said himself what David King David said. The Most High said unto my power, sit thou on my right hand. See? Look what King David said in Psalms 1, 10, and 1. What do they have to go by? They only have the law and the prophets to go by. That's why he's saying King David said this in Psalms 1, 10, and 1. The Most High said unto my power, Hamashiach was shot. Sit thou on my right hand, me. Until I make thy foes Thy footstool. Thy enemies, foes me enemies. Thy enemies, thy footstool. Okay, go ahead. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know. Let all the house of Israel know what? Assuredly, go that ahead. the Most High has made that same Hamashiach Shai, whom you have crucified, both power and Mashiach. Read it what it says. Both what? Lord and Christ. Both Lord. So when you see Lord, that's why sometimes we say the Most High and the Mashiach Yahushai. Because the Most High has done this. He made it both Lord and Master. 
Thy right hand, O Most High, is become glorious. Oh, called a scripture up. Oh, sorry. Exodus chapter 15, verse 6. Thy right hand, O Most High, is become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Most High, hath dashed in pieces the enemy. So we know that his right hand has dashed in pieces the enemy. He's also called to destroy you. Read. And in the greatness of thine excellency, Thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee. Thou sentest forth thy wrath, which consumed them as double. That's right. He sent forth his wrath that consumed the Egyptians as double. Tumbleweeds, see? And with the blast of thy nostrils. With the blast of what? Thy nostrils. Go ahead. The waters were gathered together. The flood stood upright as a heap, and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. That's right, man. Psalm 78 and 13. This is what we we seen. We seen this. Psalm chapter 78, verse 13. He divided the sea and caused them to pass through. And he made the waters it, to stand. It, it starts something to do. Somebody's still talking. They don't get started to come on there to talk still. Read that again. Psalm chapter 78, verse 13. He divided the sea and caused them to pass through. And he made the waters to stand as a heap. That's right. That's what the most I did. Go back to Exodus 15 and 9. So I mean, this is, understand this. That's why we're supposed to be talking about the things that the Most High done. You know? To our children and to each other. Spiritual things that's in the Bible, you know, that the Most High done. That's why King David is talking about it. That's why we went to Psalm 78 because King David is talking about the things that we're reading about here. We're speaking about it. Go ahead. Verse Ex 9. Exodus chapter 15, verse 9. The enemy said, I will pursue. I will overtake. I will divide the spoil. My lust shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword. My hand shall destroy them. Right. The enemy said. Thou just go with thy wind. The sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. That's right. Get uh, Job, the fourth chapter. Job, the fourth chapter. Seven verse. Read that. Job, chapter seven, verse... I'm sorry. Job, chapter four, verse seven. Remember, I pray thee. chapter 4 verse 7 remember I pray thee whoever perish being innocent right, whoever perish being innocent read or where were the righteous cut off or where were the righteous cut off read even as I have seen they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same that's right they that plow iniquity and so wickedness upon this earth, they're going to reap the same. Go ahead. By the blast of the Most High, they perish. By the blast of the Most High, they perish. Read. And by the breath of his nostrils are they consumed. That's right. By the breath of his nostrils are they consumed. That's why when you look at, go back to uh, read verse 8 again, Exodus 15 and 8. Exodus chapter 15, verse 8. Right. 
And with the blast of thy nostrils. Blast of what? Thy nostrils. The blast of the Most High's nostrils, read. The waters were gathered together. The waters were gathered together, read. The flood stood upright as a heap. The flood stood upright, upright like a heap, read. And the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. Right. Congealed, read. They just held themselves together, man. I mean, like... Just like, just like a wall, like a solid, like a solid wall, congealed. We made the water congeal, the sea congeal. So it didn't move at all. It was just there, and we went across on dry ground. Read. The enemy said, "I will pursue. I will overtake. I will divide the spoil. My lust shall be satisfied upon them." I will draw my sword. My hand shall destroy them. Yeah, that's what they thought to be. Thou didst blow with thy wind. The sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty water. Hear that? Thou didst blow with thy wind. The sea covered them. I mean, get second estrus. Eight. To read verse uh, That's right. Most I behold everything in the heavens and in the air. Read. Whose throne is inestimable. His throne is inestimable. Read. Whose glory may not be comprehended. His glory may not be comprehended. Read. Before whom the host of angels stand with trembling. Yeah. Host of angels, army of angels stand with trembling. They trembling before the Most High's throne. Read. Whose service is conversant and when? Here it is. His service is is conversing in wind, read, and fire. and fire. So he conversed with the wind to have the sea open up and stand still and be congealed and made the ground dry and we can walk across. You gotta think about all the things, well, I mean, we are going through this, you know, as I'm, as I'm speaking, I'm thinking about all these plagues that the Most High put upon the Egyptians and we were still doing the things that we normally do. You know what I mean? Like, one plague after another, we still have the Sabbath, you know what I mean? The new moon came up, we still did whatever we was doing, you know what I mean? All these plagues was coming upon them, but it wasn't happening around us. That's like right now, you start seeing all these things start happening to everybody around us, and you can't do anything about it, because it's coming from the most high. You can't do nothing about it, and then you're going to forget about it. That's what Israel did. That's what we did. All the things that we've seen them do, that's why when you, that's why in the spirit we went to 1 Corinthians 15, chapter 24, verse now, because it says, then comes the end. This is our time. This is what we're waiting on. Con? Huh? Right. We're waiting on the end to come. So when the Most High going to be all in all in the end, the things that, that's why he said it's going to be manifest that he's going to be accepted for the things that he's going to do in the time of all the things that he plagues, he's going to bring on this place, this earth. Everybody going to appreciate him and believe in him and be afraid of him. With the power that he's going to see, no, no matter what they have, they can have their they they left hand flying saucers or whatever they have. Anti-matter guns. Anti-matter guns, <laughs> right. Stealth. Yep. Oh man, the stealth bombers forget that. Yeah, that's, 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 that's obsolete. <laughs> that's just something they showed us, right? Yeah. They gotta have something bad to fight a boss like that was shy. That's what check it out. Uh I was checking out how uh America was trying to bring sanctions on Russia, right? But they were they still say we're gonna work together with that space station. They still together with that space station. They ain't they ain't divided with that going up going up in the sky with that space station thing. They they they, they together with that because they know. What the end result is, we just read about it. How all kingdoms gonna be taken down and out of existence. Straight up. Go ahead. You still at uh 
Second Ezra, the eighth chapter, read. Read verse 22 again. Whose service is conversant in wind and fire. That's right. His conversation is in wind and in fire, read. Whose word is true. His word is true, read. And saying constant. Saying constant, read. Whose commandment is strong. His commandment is strong. Now he gave a commandment to put your put your ride out there. Put your ride out there, your staff out there, Moses, and the sea gonna open up. Put his hand out there, the sea just open up. His commandment is strong, read. His order is fearful. His order is how? Fearful. His order is fearful. Orders mean his orders. His laws is fearful. Read. Whose look dried up the depth. Hear that? His what? Look dried up the depth. His look dried up the depth. Read. And indignation maketh the mountains to melt away. Read. Which the truth witnesses. That's right. That's our power. Nobody else have a power that can, can go in any book or any any source to say a power that have done this, can prove this, and has written as such. That's our power, man. Hello, y'all? Hello, y'all, yeah. yeah, man. That's our power, man. Power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Check, check the camera. Exodus. Go back to Exodus. Exodus chapter 15, verse 10. Thou didst blow with thy wind. The sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty water. That's right. The sea covered them. They said as they, they sank as they had lead in the mighty waters. Man, this is just, just bring back something to me, man. This, this brother, man, this cat man took his two year old daughter. And threw her over a bridge, man. Put lead all, put, you know, weighed her down with a car jack and a car seat. Threw her over the bridge. Wow. Like little girl, man. Go ahead. Exodus chapter 15, verse 11. Is like unto thee, O Most High, among the idols. Yeah, who is like the Most High among these nations' idols? Read. Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praise, doing wonders? Doing wonders? Who's like him among these other idols? Go ahead. Thou stretchest out thy right hand. The earth swallowed them. That stretched out his right hand. Mashiach Yahweh the destroyer, and the earth swallowed them. Read. Thou in thy mercy has led forth the people which thou hast redeemed. Thou hast guided them in thy strength unto thy holy habitation. The people shall hear and be afraid. See, people will say hear and be afraid. Be. Sorrow shall take hold on the inhabitants of Palestina. 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 Palestine. Sorrow will take hold of the inhabitants of Palestine. Mighty men of Moab, trembling shall take hold upon them. You hear that? The mighty men of the Chinese, who was Moab, trembling shall take hold upon them. Read. All the inhabitants of Canaan shall mel melt away. Yeah, most I say gonna melt them. Say they gonna melt away. Go ahead. Fear and dread shall fall upon them. By the greatness of thine arm, they shall be as still as a stone. Till, the, till thy people pass over, O Most High, till the people pass over, 
which thou hast purchased. Read that again in the spirit. To the people what? To the people pass over. There it is. To the people pass over. We can already celebrate what? Pass over. To the people pass over. Read. Which thou hast purchased. Right. It says, till the people pass over, O Most High. Till the people pass over. Once I speak once, yea, twice. Till the people pass over, O Most High. Till the people pass over, which thou hast purchased. Read. Thou shalt bring them in, and plant them in the mountain of thy inheritance. In the place, O Most High, which thou hast made for thee to dwell in, in the sanctuary, O Most High, Wamashiach, Yahushai, which thy hand hath established. Right. Right. The place where we're going to dwell in, which the Most High's hands have established, read. And his hands here is talking about the angels, read. The Most High shall reign over Zalakia. The Most High shall reign forever and ever. For the horse of Pharaoh went in with his chariots and with his horsemen into the sea. And the Most High brought again the waters of the sea upon them. But the children of Israel went on dry land in the midst of the sea. That's right, sing a song. He's singing a song. This is a song of Moses. Go ahead. And Miriam, the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, took a timbrel in her hand, and all the women went out after her with timbrels and with dancing. So they, they, was, they had the tambourines going. And all the women went after Miriam, went out there and started dancing. Dancing. Tambourines, they started dancing. Okay. Verse 21. And Miriam answered them, Sing ye to the Most High, for he had triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider had he thrown into the sea. That's right, we sing it to the Most High chorus. The horse and his rider had he thrown into the sea, please. So Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea, and they went out into the wilderness of Shur. And they went three days in the wilderness and found no water. Right. So they went into the wilderness three days and didn't find any water. Read. And when they came to Merah, they could not drink of the waters of Merah, for they were bitter. Therefore, the name of it was called Merah. Mara. Everything is off. Mara. Mara. Go ahead. And the people murmured against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? People started murmuring against Moses. What are we going to drink? Go ahead. And he cried unto the Most High, and the Most High showed him a tree, which when he had cast into the waters, the waters were made sweet. There he made for them a statue and an ordinance. And there he proved them. Right. Go ahead. He made you do a tree in the water and it turns sweet. Another miracle. Bit of water is made sweet. So we could drink it. Three. And said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Most High, one shall outside thy power, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians. You know, this is very important. That's why you wonder why our people is all jacked up. He said, we do his commandments and his statutes. He's not going to put all the diseases that he put upon the Egyptians. Read. For I am the most high that healeth thee. That's right. He's the most high that healeth. And they came to Elam, where were twelve wells of water, and threescore and ten palm trees, and they encamped there by the water. Right. So we, we, we traveled. 
going on our journey. So I want to get a uh, go back to uh, looking at the past. We're going to go back to Exodus 12 chapter. Go back. To, we're going to look at this, you know, mentally, spiritually. chapter one to read one through twelve. Exodus. Exodus chapter twelve. Read it loud. Exodus chapter twelve verse one. Right. And the most high while Mashiach Yahweh Shai spake unto Moses and Aaron and the land of Egypt saying This much shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Right. This shall be the beginning of months. This shall be the first month of the year for us. Go ahead. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, in the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house. You're supposed to take a lamb for the house. Me? And if the household be too little, for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of the souls. Every man according to his eating shall make your count for the lamb. Right. 